crazy thing to do Just to stand and look at you That's amore Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas Six, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today's look at the history of music in Las Vegas delves into the 1980s, a dark time in the neon city. If you're just joining us in this course, I've posted links in the description to the previous episodes. Make sure to check them out after this video. Now then, if everyone is ready to begin, let's get ready for things to get gnarly dudes! <laughs> If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. 1980 started out with a devastating fire at the MGM Grand Hotel, killing 87 people and injuring 700 more. Combined with the nationwide recession and legalization of gambling in Atlantic City, the allure of traveling to Las Vegas was quickly diminishing. In order for venues to stay open, Drastic changes were made. Thousands of musicians, mostly local acts that made a living playing in the lounges and bars, were quickly replaced with synthesizers and taped music, making Las Vegas one of the places where careers went to die. Icons of the lounge and cabaret circuit were either retiring or significantly cutting back their show dates, including celebrities like Sammy Davis Jr., Cher, Engelbert Humperdinck, Andy Williams, Johnny Mathis, Diana Ross, Fats Domino, Gladys Knight, Chuck Berry, Carl Perkins, and the Osmonds. Don't worry, they'll be back. This push towards more family-friendly attractions fundamentally changed the nature of entertainment in Las Vegas. Even the chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra, complained that Las Vegas had become an amusement park. Furthermore, he said that Las Vegas was rock solid and now it's paper mache. By the end of the 80s, the prospects for live musicians in Las Vegas were bleak, but don't despair, faithful viewers, because our next stop is the 1990s. Tune in next time to see how Las Vegas' fortunes would turn around. See you then. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that we'll see you on the next video in the series. If you feel like clicking a link in the description to help out the channel, that would be great. Um, meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please click down here and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified when new videos get posted. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time in Room 6.